let's get into the details. What do you need to know to RFID tag? Well, you need to know five things. First, what printed symbols or markers should be on the RFID tag? Oftentimes, the RFID tag looks the same as the prior tag that has the UPC, only now it has an additional special mark to indicate it that it has an RFID inlay. Your retailer will specify what, if any, special marking will indicate the presence of an RFID tag. Make sure that you confirm the artwork or layout changes with your retail partner. The second thing to know is what kind of RFID tag to use. Different RFID tag inlays have different performance characteristics based on the type of chip and the design of the antenna. Some inlays are best suited for footwear, others for apparel, others for electronics, etc. Retailers typically provide a guide showing what tags they approve for what product categories. If this guidance is not available, you can contact GS1 US, academic institutions such as the Auburn University RFID Lab, or a GS1 US solution partner who specializes in RFID. The third thing you need to know is where the tag will be placed on the product. Tags are typically embedded in the label or hang tag containing the UPC. RFID tags are sensitive to liquids and metals, especially if they are directly touching such items. For example, some product packaging, such as polybagged items, might contain some sections of metallic foil. Placement of an RFID tag directly on that foil will severely impact the ability for that tag to be read. For this reason, one of the most important measures to take is to introduce a tag placement verification step when ramping up. This same step should be part of the process for reviewing any changes in product packaging, as well as new products moving forward. The fourth thing, you will want to ensure that a proper adhesive is used if you're using any new RFID labels. If you're using the same UPC label and just adding the inlay, then this is likely not a concern, as it would likely be using the same adhesive. You could check. However, if you're using a new label, you'll want to confirm proper adhesion for the various sheens, for example, on laminated cardboard, noting various temperature and humidity conditions for items in transit. And the fifth item is, what data are you encoding into the RFID tag? Each RFID tag has unique EPC, or electronic product code value, encoded in it. We'll get into the details of that in the next section.